Education Galaxy presents Multiplying and Dividing Rational Numbers. When multiplying and dividing rational numbers, it's best to follow the same procedure, so let's write down these steps. First, identify if the problem requires multiplication or division. Step 2. Write an expression. This will help you organize what's known versus what the unknown is, what you're looking for. It helps make your calculation clear and simple. Step 3. Calculate your expression. And Step 4. Determine if your answer is reasonable. Doing this will help you catch any little mistakes you may have made. Here's a graphic organizer to help determine whether you should multiply or divide. The first question you want to ask yourself is, do I know the total amount? If your answer is no, then you want to ask yourself, do I know the number of groups and the number of objects in each group? If your answer is no to those, then something may have gone wrong. Check the problem again. But if your answer is yes, then multiply. Multiplication is always warranted when you know the number of groups and the amount of objects in each group. And if you ask yourself if you know the total amount and your answer is yes, then ask yourself, self, do I know either the number of groups or the amount of objects in each group? And if your fabulous self says yes, then divide. Division's always warranted when you already know the total and either the number of groups or the amount of objects in each group. If you don't know either of those, check your problem again. Now that you know what to look for, let's try some practice problems. Example one. How many 1.25 ounce servings of oil can be served from a container of oil that holds 27.5 ounces? Well, step one was determine whether it's multiplication or division. And if I use the logic of the graphic organizer, I know that I have the total, 27.5, and I have the amount in each group, 1.25, so that means I need to divide. Now to write the expression. I want to start with the total, 27.5, and divide by 1.25. Next, we want to calculate. To calculate 27.5 divided by 1.25, I want to eliminate the decimal from 1.25. To do that, I can multiply it by 100. And if I multiply that by 100, I have to multiply 27.5 times 100. My new expression is 2,750 divided by 125. Now, when I calculate that, that gives us 22 servings. And the last step is to check if our answer is reasonable. 1.25 ounce servings is a little over one ounce, so when I multiply that by 22, I should get a little over 22, so it makes sense that the total from the container is 27.5 ounces. Let's check out another example. Catherine walks half a mile to school. Jamar walks two-thirds the distance Catherine walks. How far does Jamar walk? Okay, so in this problem, I don't know a total, but I do know I'm taking two-thirds of one-half, which would indicate multiplication. My expression would be one-half times two-thirds. Now when I calculate, I get two-sixths. That can be simplified by dividing the numerator and denominator by two, resulting in one-third of a mile. Last, we want to make sure our answer is reasonable. Well, if you walk two-thirds the distance she walks, he should walk almost the same but slightly less than her. And our answer, one-third, is slightly less than her distance, one-half. So our answer is, in fact, reasonable. You now know how to multiply and divide rational numbers. Remember, follow the steps and always check for reasonableness at the end. Good luck.